I next call upon the next presenter, Ms. Dear Avo Eza, going to present on the topic under management. The topic is supply management and customer retention in the banking industry of Ghana, a study of National Investment Bank. I welcome uh, Ms. Avo Eza. Please start your presentation through share your screen. Good morning, everyone. My name is Awesa Bimpo, a lecturer at the University of Professional Studies, Accra. And my presentation is on supply chain management, customer satisfaction and retention in the banking industry of Ghana, a case study of National Investment Bank. So these are the outlines. I'll go through introduction, methods, results, discussion, recommendation. This paper examines the relational effect of supply chain management practices on customer satisfaction and customer retention of investment banks in Ghana. The motivation for the study stand from a myriad of supply chain related problems facing practitioners. In addition, contextual gaps exist regarding the complexity supply chain management practices have on on the downstream marketing outcomes. The study provides useful guide to help investment bank determine competences and supply chain practices in a manner that translates into satisfying customers and retaining profitable customers. Supply chain involves the management of various actual that focus on delivering products and services to customers from a source. And this is by Francisco and Swanson, 2018. Niami, Abdullah and Sweet, 2018, define supply chain management as an activity that aims to reduce cost, improve value, reduce risk, and managing customer relationship. Thus, supply chain management practices allow firms into bracket manufacturing and services to provide customers with their needs. And that is from Il et al. 2005. Nate Agwemebiasi, Kodria and Braima 2013 uh, stipulate that it is important to look out for key drivers um, that influence important outcome for banks in order to gain a better understanding of the causation between drivers and outcomes. Modern supply chain management have been linked to have substantial impact on marketing outcomes of banks in both developed and developing world. Gaps. A critical study of the industry depict that Supply chain management practitioners are skewed towards the manufacturing center, sector than service area. And this is from SAI and SAI 2011. Tunisia, Barry, Amari, and Cottage 2015 have said that firms that practice effective supply chain management can influence marketing outcome. Bahiki and ba Ribawa 2016 suggests the need to investigate the relationship between supply chain management practices and customer retention. Omorui and Mafini 2016 also suggest further studies validate the relationship between supply chain management practices and customer satisfaction in emerging economies. Yet, the relationship between supply chain management practices. So we have the design. So we have the research strategies there. We have the, it was a quantitative approach and we have the sources. So we have the population, we have the sample size, we have the sampling techniques, we have the data sources, 
data collection instrument and data analysis. And so the population was supply chain managers and practitioners of investment banks in Ghana. On the sample size of was 200 supply chain management and practitioners. The sampling technique was convenient and the data sources were solely primary. Um, a questionnaire was used um, adopting the five point Likert scheme. Um, we, I used the SPSS version 21 to perform regression analysis and these are the sources. Now, if you look at the constructs, we have the supply chain practices and the supply chain management practices. We have just in time, eight, globalization, eight, our sourcing says technology, seven, customer satisfaction says customer retention says all together 41. And we have the sources at the right hand side. So looking at the conceptual framework, um, there were some hypotheses I looked at. So you see um, the hypothesis one, that's a supply chain management mapping onto customer retention hypothesis two, supply chain management mapping onto customer satisfaction and hypothesis three, customer satisfaction on customer retention. Now you have the um, respondent demography. So looking at the figure here, we have um, the gender of staff. So um, I have the female representing 38% and male 62%. And when you come to the figure for um, customers, I have female representing 45% and males 55%. We continue with the respondent demography. So looking at the respondent, we have um, those with masters, that is 44%. We have the PAD, 0%. We have the professional 6%, those with HND, 0% and degree 50%. That is the level of education of staff. The number of years served in the bank. We have um, six to 10 years, 16%, 11 to 20 years, 19%, and less um, greater than 20 years, 15%. Um, and those who have said for less than five years, 50%. So the hypothesis one, we wanted to see um, if supply chain management impact positively on customer retention. And, and given the table here looking, I was concentrated solely on the significant figures. And looking at the significant figure, we noticed that yes, it has a positive impact. So the results in the table one shows a standardized coefficient and then beta value of 0 0.893 at a significant value of 0 0.000. And that shows that it, it has a positive impact. So supply chain management has a positive impact on retaining customers. Now this shows that supply chain management practices of investment banks among, among investment banks in Ghana positively impact on customer retention. And thus um, the hypothesis H1 should be accepted. Now the second hypothesis we wanted to see um, if supply chain management impact positively on customer satisfaction. And given the table, we also noted yes. So the, the statistical results in table 1.3 show a standardized coefficient beta value 
of 0 0.838, including that supply chain, including that of supply chain management. Investment bank positively and highly correlates with customer satisfaction. The relationship is highly significant. The result shows that the hypothesis too is acceptable. Customer satisfaction, we wanted to, if with the hypothesis three, I wanted to see whether customer satisfaction in part on customer retention, that if a customer is satisfied, whether the customer will want to remain with the bank or will want to opt out with different banks. And this one to I noticed that, yes, um, that was true. At 0. Point, at 0 0.793 standardized coefficient value and a significant value of 0 0.00, customer satisfaction has a high tendency to influence customer retention. Thus, the hypothesis, hypothesis three is also accepted. Now, customer satisfaction supply chain management dimension in pattern on customer retention. And also given the table here, um, we notice that it's also um, significant. So the table 1.4 shows that all the four elements, dimensions of supply chain management, that is, um globalization just in time and the like positively and highly influence customer satisfaction if the banks will adhere to and practice them in in various banks because i noticed that um supply chain activities are more skewed to the manufacturing sector than a service area um, such as the bank Summary of findings and conclusion. So findings, supply chain management positively and significantly impacts on customer retention. Supply chain management positively and significantly impact on customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction positively and significantly impact on customer retention. Supply chain management dimension, all the dimension mentioned also impact on customer retention. So globalization and just in time are highly and significantly impacted on customer retention among the four dimensions. Then drawing the conclusion, Effective supply chain management practices have the tendencies to influence customer retention. Supply chain activities stimulate high level of customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction is key to generate customer, customer retention. It should be retention, sorry. The four dimensions are key consideration to ensure effective supply chain management practices to enhance customer satisfaction and customer retention. Globalization and just-in-time are critical to customer retention. Contributions. The output of the study established a direct positive and significant influence of supply chain management on customer satisfaction and customer retention. These findings pave the way for future studies to employ various analytical methods, such as the P PLS and SEM to measure the relationship to enhance validity. So partially square and the um, uh, how do we call it? Um, 
sorry, I'll remember and tell you the other one. The study contributes to existing views on the need to steady relationship between upstream supply chain and per upstream supply chain, we are talking about the supply chain that brings about the raw materials on the downstream activities. On downstream, we are talking about um, the supply chain that makes sure that the products are distributed and sold. The study makes a contextual contribution to existing literature in Ghana and investment banks also in Ghana. The implication, investment banks in Ghana should direct resources to boost supply chain management practices. Supply chain managers should develop supply chain management strategies around globalization, just in time outsourcing and technology. Now I look at future research. Future research should um, incorporate the following. Use of mediation and moderation to examine the boundary spanning effect of some other variables. The use of structural equation model. And so that is what I wanted to say. Structural equation model and partial least skills techniques in data analysis. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Awo. I request the participants to raise queries to Ms. Awo so that she'll be responding to you. So now we have one question. How were you able to derive at the statistical model used? This yes, so like I said, I use the um, SPSS, I use the regression model to arrive at the statistical model use. And so it was run. The various um, items were run in the model. And that is how I came about it. There's one more question for you. How will SCM positively impact customer retention in the education service sector? Yes, you know, these days we have um, a lot of um, advanced, uh, will I say advanced, um, high modeled um, analysis last, like the, yes please, like the least partial square and um, other ones that I use in analysis. And so because I just use regression, I'm, I'm thinking that other people can use the structural equation modeling when doing analysis of such nature. And they can also employ other variables um, apart from either than globalization, just in time, uh, sourcing and technology, so that they will also come out with um, different outcome either than mine. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have one more question. Would you agree that getting a new customer is more expensive than keeping the existing customer satisfied? Yes, please. It's very expensive. Very, very expensive getting customers on board. And that is why when you have already existing customers, you should go all out to make sure that they are retained so that they do not skew or move from your company to other companies. And so all the technologies that are coming in, everything anybody is doing globally, you would also have to research in and make sure that your customers are happy so that they will not move from your organization to other places because getting a new customer these days is very difficult and expensive. And so please, I agree with that. Thank you. Thank you so much. We have one more question lined up. In your opinion, can we use the SCM in hospital practice or is it an area of research? Oh, you know, these are um, analytical methods and tools that I use. And so because I didn't employ that one, it can be used. Everybody can use the um, st um, structural equation model or partially square in their analysis. Um, and these are robust 
kind of analytical methods that I employ. If you use, if your study, you see, looking at your study, if your study, if you can use regression simply, yes, you go ahead. But if you think that um, the, the study employs a more robust analytical um, techniques, then you employ them. Thank you, please. Thank you so much. We have one last question. How can companies use technology for supply chain management? We have softwares um, that are um, that are imbibed in their system so that um, these days at the click of the button on your phone, you are able to transact easily with a bank when certain hope. You don't need to travel to the banking areas because of the outbreak of the COVID. And so um, they would have to digitalize most of their systems so that um, people are the comfort of their home. Like what happened in Tezila, you are the comfort of your home, but we are, we are having an international conference. And this is laudable. I didn't travel there. I'm here, but I'm seeing everybody and enjoying the conference. And so I think that um, organizations should employ technology so that it makes um, activities easier for them and their customers will be happy to remain with them. Thank you, please. Thank you so much. We have one more question. Do you agree that quality delivery of services will contribute to overall customer retention. Oh yes. You see, customer service starts right from the doorsteps of your company. And so every activity that is carried out in your organization brings about customer services or customer satisfaction. Everybody is involved in the organization when it comes to satisfying a customer. Just a hello, a hello to a customer and trying to respond to them, giving their feedback, the necessary feedback they need will satisfy them. But if I'm a customer and I, and, um, I, I raise a query and, I'm, and I don't get any response from the organization, I would not be happy. And so if I go to another organization and I see that I'm welcome with hello, uh, good morning, how do you feel? Um, intermittently, I will have a call and they will communicate with me, why not? And so all this um, positive feedback will help the customers to be retained in your organization. Thank you, please. Thank you so much, Ms. Owl. That was a great presentation. Thank you all for listening. I'm grateful for this um, conference to be part of it. God bless you all. Thank you so much.